truth is in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ rebuked Peter's racism. Pharisees worship the Sabbath. Jesus Christ breaks the Sabbath. The Sabbath a shadow in the ordinances. Jesus Christ the only true rest. Jesus Christ the New Testament. Jesus Christ the light of the world. Jesus Christ bread of life. Jesus Christ the resurrection. Jesus Christ the only true way. Jesus Christ the Father. Jesus Christ the greatest high priest. Jesus Christ wisdom knowledge understanding. The truth is in Jesus Christ. If a science 4 verses 20 to 23. 20 But ye have not so learned Christ. 21 If so be that ye have heard him, and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus. 22 That ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts. 23 And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Colossians 2 verse 3 Jesus Christ 3 In whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Jesus Christ breaks Sabbath, God is his Father making himself equal to God. John 5 verse 18 Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his Father, making himself equal with God. Jesus Christ blot out handwritten ordinances, Sabbath a shadow, have true rest in Jesus Christ. Colossians 2 verse 14 to 23 14 Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. 15 And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a shoe of them openly, triumphing over them in it. 16 Let no man therefore judge you in meat, or in drink, or in respect of an holiday, or of the new moon, or of the Sabbath days. 17 Which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. 18 Let no man beguile you of your reward in the voluntary humility and worshipping of angels, intruding into those things which he hath not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind. 19 And not holding the head, from which all the body by joints and bands having nourishment ministered, and knit together, increaseth with the increase of God. 20 Wherefore if ye be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world, why, as though living in the world, are ye subject to ordinances? 21 Touch not. Taste not. Handle not. 22 Which all are to perish with the using, after the commandments and doctrines of men? 23 Which things of indeed a shoe of wisdom and will worship, and humility, and neglecting of the body, not in any honor to the satisfying of the flesh. Find rest in Jesus Christ throw your burdens on him. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30 Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Jesus Christ Impartiality Matthew 23 verse 4 For they the scribes and the Pharisees bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders. But they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. 3 And he entered again into the synagogue. And there was a man there which had a withered hand. 2 And they watched him, whether he would heal him on the Sabbath day, that they might accuse him. 3 And he saith unto the man which had the withered hand, Stand forth. 4 And he saith unto them, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath days, or to do evil? To save life, or to kill? But they held their peace. 5 And when he had looked round about on them with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their hearts, he saith unto the man, Stretch forth thine hand. And he stretched it out, and his hand was restored whole as the other. 6 And the Pharisees went forth, 
and straightway took counsel with the Herodians against him, how they might destroy him. 7 But Jesus withdrew himself with his disciples to the sea, and a great multitude from Galilee followed him, and from Judea. 8 And from Jerusalem, and from Idumea, and from beyond Jordan. And they about Tyre and Sidon, a great multitude, when they had heard what great things he did, came unto him. Not and he spake to his disciples, that a small ship should wait on him because of the multitude, lest they should throng him. 10 For he had healed many, insomuch that they pressed upon him for to touch him, as many as had plagues. 11 And unclean spirits, when they saw him, fell down before him, and cried, saying, Thou art the Son of God. 12 And he straightly charged them that they should not make him known. 13 And he goeth up into a mountain, and calleth unto him whom he would, and they came unto him. 14 And he ordained twelve, that they should be with him, and that he might send them forth to preach. 15 And to have power to heal sicknesses, and to cast out devils. 16 And Simon he surnamed Peter. 17 And James the son of Zebedee, and John the brother of James. And he surnamed them Boanerges, which is, the sons of thunder. 18 And Andrew, and Philip and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, and Simon the Canaanite. 19 And Judas Iscariot, which also betrayed him, and they went into an house. 20 And the multitude cometh together again, so that they could not so much as eat bread. 21 And when his friends heard of it, they went out to lay hold on him, for they said, He is beside himself. 22 And the scribes which came down from Jerusalem said, He hath Beelzebub, and by the prince of the devils casteth he out devils. 23 And he called them unto him, and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? 24 And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. 25 And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. 26 And if Satan rise up against himself, and be divided, he cannot stand, but hath an end. 27 No man can enter into a strong man's house, and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. 28 Verily I say unto you, All sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men, and blasphemies wherewith soever they shall blaspheme. 29 But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost hath never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. 30 Because they said, He hath an unclean spirit. 31 There came then his brethren and his mother, and, standing without, sent unto him, calling him. 32 And the multitude sat about him, and they said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren without seek for thee. 33 And he answered them, saying, Who is my mother, or my brethren? 34 And he looked round about on them which sat about him, and said, Behold my mother and my brethren. 35 For whosoever shall do the will of God, the same is my brother, and my sister, and mother. Jesus Christ Lord of the Sabbath, the Sabbath a shadow. Mark 2 verse 28 Therefore the Son of Man is Lord also of the Sabbath. Freedom in Jesus Christ. Luke 4 verses 17 to 19. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Saez. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Jesus Christ is salvation. Galatians 5 verse 1 Stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, 
and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Jesus Christ's authority over devils and demons. Mark 5 verses 1 to 20. And they came over into the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadarenes. 2 And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. 3 Who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains. 4 Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. 5 And always, night and day, he was in the mountains, and in the tombs, crying, and cutting himself with stones. 6 But when he saw Jesus afar off, he wrapped him. 7 And cried with a loud voice, and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of the Most High God? I adjure thee by God, that thou torment me not. 8 For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. 9 And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. 10 And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. 11 Now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. 12 And all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine, that we may enter into them. 13 And forthwith Jesus gave them leave. And the unclean spirits went out, and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea, and were choked in the sea. 14 And they that fed the swine fled, and told it in the city, and in the country. And they went out to see what it was that was done. 15 And they come to Jesus, and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion, sitting, and closed, and in his right mind, and they were afraid. Sixteen and they that saw it told them how it befell to him that was possessed with the devil, and also concerning the swine. Seventeen and they began to pray him to depart out of their coasts. Eighteen and when he was come into the ship, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. 19 O be it Jesus suffered him not, but saith unto him, Go home to thy friends, and tell them how great things the Lord hath done for thee, and hath had compassion on thee. 20 And he departed, and began to publish in Decapolis how great things Jesus had done for him, and all men did marvel. Jesus Christ the New Covenant Hebrews 9 verses 11 to 15 11 But Christ being come and high priest of good things to come, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building. 12 Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. 13 For if the blood of bulls and of goats, and the ashes of an heifer sprinkling the unclean, sanctifieth to the purifying of the flesh. 14 How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? 15 And for this cause he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. Jesus Christ Light of the World John 8 verse 12 12 Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world, he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Jesus Christ the Bread of Life John 6 verse 35 35 And Jesus said unto them, I am the Bread of Life, he that cometh to me shall never hunger and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Jesus Christ the Resurrection John 11 verse 25 25 Jesus said unto her, I am the Resurrection, and the Life, he that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. 
Jesus Christ the Father. John 14 verses 8 and 9. 8 Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. 9 Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? Jesus Christ the only true way. John 14 verses 5 to 7. 5 Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest. And how can we know the way? 6 Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no man cometh unto the Father, but by me. 7 If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also, and from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Jesus Christ the Bread of Life John 6 verse 35 35 And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life, he that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Jesus Christ the Greatest High Priest Hebrews 4 verses 14 to 16 14 Seeing then that we have a great high priest, that is passed into the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. 15 For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. 16 Let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy, and find grace to help in time of need. Jesus Christ rebuked Peter's racism. Acts 10 verse 28, 34 to 36. And he said unto them, Ye know how that it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company, or come into one of another nation. But God hath shewed me that I should not call any man common or unclean. 34 Then Peter opened his mouth, and said, of a truth I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. 35 But in every nation he that fareth him, and worketh righteousness, is accepted with him. 36 The word which God sent into the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all.